welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you could fix the yellow triangle which appears when you try to connect to your internet, regardless if it's a Wi-Fi or, or a cable one. And also, it might show you no internet access, no connectivity, no network, and no network, etc. So all these kind of errors which are related to the Wi-Fi or to the internet are or have the same, almost the same fix. First, I'm already trying to connect to my internet. Whenever I click on it, I have to wait but nothing is really happening. When I place my mouse here, it says no internet access. So to fix that, you will need to go to the search tab or click on the Windows Start menu and type Control Panel. Here you will have, or you might have a different view from large icons or small icons, regardless of your operating software, if it's Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, you want to make sure to change it to category so that you are able to follow. Our next step will be that we click on Network and Internet, and then again we will click on Network and Sharing Center. Once this loaded, you will see this interface and it says Unknown Network. Click on your Wi-Fi or, your, or, or on your internet, uh, internet inter, uh, connection, and this little panel with Internet status will appear. So next step, as you can see that the received package are almost not moving at all, which means that the internet is not working. So we'll click on properties. What we'll make sure we will have two settings or two potential, uh, two potential um, solutions. First one, if you are using uh, or your computer is using automatically internet protocol version four, you want to click to have it selected, click on properties. And here you want to make sure that you change from this static numbers, if you have it, you want to change to obtain an IP address automatically. Also you want to change to obtain DNS server address automatically. And you want to click OK. And then you want to click close. Once done, you can go ahead and close this interface and you will see that you are able to connect to your internet. Now we are going to try to connect to YouTube or Google. To see that if our internet is working properly. So it says unable to connect. I have been disconnected again. So all what I will have to do is to connect again by just clicking reconnect. So you might you might even want to restart your computer so that the settings are applied to work properly. Now I will just click on reload and here we go. The internet is working properly. So if this has solved the problem, that's what we wanted. If not, and for some of you, they will have already the, the uh, automatic assignment already set in the Internet v4. So if you have already obtained an IP address automatically assigned, you may want to change use the, the DNS from automatically to manual and type 888 and second line 8844. These are only DNS server addresses and you want to select validate settings upon exit and click OK. Click close. And there is the diagnostics which will be run by Windows and it will try to solve for you the problem. And again, you want to go to your browser and see if your internet is now working properly. My internet is again still working. If this didn't solve for you the problem, go back again to properties and you want again to select the Internet Protocol version 4 properties and here you want to use an, uh, an IP address manual one. Go to your router or to your modem and enter it you will check and you will find a certain address starting with the set 192. So for my case, it starts with 192.168. There is a sticker or there is a paper in with my router saying that. And here I have in this position zero. And in the last position, I have a number. I would choose number three, for example. And so we have entered IP address 192.168. It's usually, this is how it starts. You will find it on your router or modem. And you in the last two positions, you will need to enter the numbers exactly. And you. And the next step will be to use subnet mask. Make sure to put 255, this is a generic one or standard one, 255, 255, and then the last set zero. 
So this is universal and can be used for all computers, the subnet mask. For the default gateway, we will again use the same IP address, but we will change just one letter. So here, 192.168.0. And then the last one, we want to put the number 1. Again, select validate settings upon exit. Make sure that you have used the following DNS server addresses. Prefer DNS server 8888. You need to enter the number 8 in each position. So there are four positions. So make sure to enter it correctly. And in the second line, the alternate DNS server, you want to enter the first two sets is 88 and the last two is 44. As you can see it here. And once you are done with these numbers, just click OK, click Close. Windows will be making some analysis. You might want to restart your computer. And again, you can go to your browser, try to connect to YouTube or to whatever website you would like and see if your internet is working correctly. If you don't like those DNS server addresses which I provided to you, you can look for other DNS server addresses and you can use it. If after all of this still didn't work for you, you might want to enable the Internet Protocol version 6, TCP slash IPv6, and you want to click Properties. Here you want to make sure that you have selected Obtain an IPv address automatically and Obtain DNS server automatically. Once you have selected this Obtain automatically, click OK, and then click Close. Try again to restart your computer and to access to the internet. If does it work for you, that's what we wanted. If not, then there is a last chance that will help you or last fix which will help you to solve that. Click close. Make sure that you are that you are connected to your network even though there is no internet access. And the next step will be we will click on our internet. We will click on properties or you can just click with the right button of the mouse and select properties. And here you want to edit the DHCP. In some cases, in the IP settings, the IP assign assignment, it might be set to manual. So once you are reading an IP assignment, if you find here manual DHCP, then click edit and make sure to select automatic one. Once done, you want to click save and you want to again to restart your computer and to see if it will be working. If after all of this, it didn't work for you, there is one last hope is that you want to check your router or modem if it's up to date, the software, you might want to call the, oper the company who provided to you. And also you want to check that you didn't put it next to a microwave or in a place where there is no enough uh, or there are obstacles for it because some Wi-Fi uh, doesn't work if there are too many obstacles. It's not strong enough in some cases. And also you want to check if all the connectors and cables which, you're, uh, which you are connecting to your router are, are proper or are new or are working correctly. If after all of this it didn't work for you, you might want to perform either a router reset, which you will find a video in the video description, or you want also to connect with your company and ask them to help you to fix the problem because it might be coming from there, uh, from the, the internet provider also. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you guys. I have tried to make it as short as possible and to show you maximum solutions as possible. If you still need help or assistance, you can always write us a comment or send us an email and we'll do our best to help you. If you would like to encourage us, you can always press like, share, and if you would like to join our family and to see our latest videos, you can always subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.